Good afternoon, everybody. Olav here, and welcome back to Agatha Christie, Peril at In the House. So, we've kind of got a few, th a, a little bit of it, a little bit of everything figured out. Um, this gal, you know, has had a lot of misfortune, and it's not, it's, it's not good. Um, there's, she has, you know, her brakes have been cut, apparently by a man. Um, fear grows over a missing pilot. Um, not sure what that's about yet, but, um, yeah. So we need to go back through and find some more stuff, like two acorns. Um, and try and hunt up some more clues. A toadstool. A parrot. I, I saw the parrot. There's the parrot. Uh, two chocolate pastries. Can find those right away. Bicycle. Yeah, I can find that all right. Ring. A shamrock. A gramophone. A sundial and a cane. Okay, well, there's the cane. There's gramophone. The ring might be a bit trickier. No, apparently not. <laughs> it's on the food. So now we just need a toadstool, which those are several toadstools. So room clear. I got a I got a clue card from Freddy. Nikki is my best friend, and she's the most dreadful liar. She made up some silly story about the brakes on her car going out. I don't believe don't believe anything she tells you, Mr. Poirot. Um. But I checked her car, and yeah, the brakes were tampered with. Find the safe. Well, there it is. That that was not... I will examine the safe letter and see what's inside. Six papers in a drawer? Uh, okay. Oh, that drawer. That drawer. Well, you didn't tell me which drawer. You just said a drawer, and there's an open drawer right there. Uh, three horses. Ring, pearl, okay. An apple, an eagle. A best ball. A bull. A bag key. A bag. A key. All right. So we still need, and we also still need more papers. Well, there's baseball. Okay. We need three more papers in the drawer. But I can't tell what counts as a paper. I mean, the card apparently counts as a paper. So pretty much anything that's made a paper can constitute a paper. All right, so we need one more piece of paper for the drawer. There's a leopard. Um. Yeah, and I don't know where the other horse is. So, horse, a key, and a piece of paper. Or, wait, is that the key? Yeah, that's actually a fairly, fairly neat hiding place. I gotta admit that. I gotta say that that was a pretty nice hiding place. That looks like an owl, not a horse. Um, but you never know. You never know. Uh, 
All right, a hint. I clicked on that paper before and you wouldn't let me pick it up, you piece of crap. And oh, seahorse. Room is clear. Nikki's bedroom, a Fred wire, a bluebird, and three apples. Okay. Does a pineapple count as an apple? No, it doesn't. It counts as a pineapple, though, which apparently we also had to find. She really likes her apples, or at least half apples, or bits of apple. I. Have we found a whole... Is, is there such a thing as a whole apple in here? Did she actually eat any of the apples? I mean, it looked like one was cut in half, one was cut into slices, and then one was whole. The frayed cord. Well, there's the frayed cord. That m wait, is that the? This cord was not frayed over time. Look at the freshness of the fibers. It was frayed with a razor or a knife. Right, and that one I'm guessing is the one that fell on her. Right, an eagle, two fishes, and a rhino. Uh, a rhino, that's... That one should, you would think, would be, like, easy. Ah, the bluebird, there we go. All right, there's the other. All right, so we need a spider, a rhino, two fishes, an eagle, and a piano. Well, there's a teeny tiny little piano. I don't know if anybody who's actually going to play that, but, I mean, it's there. So, a rhino. Get, ah, there's the silhouette of a rhino. Silhouette of a rhino? No, no, that doesn't quite work. Uh, all right, so we need a couple of fish, an eagle, and the spider. We still are needing the spider. Where is Monsieur Spider? Oh, Miss Spider. I mean, I don't know. I don't know the gender of a spider. I don't know how to tell the gender of a spider. I'm just, you know. It is most, e it is actually easiest for people to identify and, and typically gender things as, well, as their own gender, basically so that it's, it's more relatable to them. If something doesn't have a specific gender, yeah, you're you're typically going to gender it your gender or, or how you or how you self-identify. Room clear. I've been sleeping badly of late, so I got up in the middle of the night to go downstairs. That's when the picture fell. If I'd been in bed, I would have been. It would have crushed me. Not like you know. Two stones, okay, two stones in a row. I'm, I'm guessing not like, you know, um, you would have been very upset about it. We're talking like, you know, it, it would have literally just flattened you. So one, two, four, eight, 16, 32, that's the Fibonacci sequence, isn't it? So, yeah, we're looking for 4 and 16. Fallen boulder. Well, that's going to be easy to spot here. Actually, it was. This must be the boulder that nearly killed Miss Nick. Such a thing would not have fallen on its own. Unfortunately, there's no way to tell who pushed it. My accent is kind of uh, fluctuating a little bit, I think. Aha, there's 16. Fish, lizard, cactus, and a cat. Why are there so many cats around? I do not understand. I mean, cats are nice. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I do like cats. I'm not like an anti-cat. A violin? Right. 
Okay, so we also need a dolphin. The dolphin is what I clicked on before, but you would not let me actually pick it up. All right, there's all the there's all the boulders. So we still need a lizard, a cactus, which is there, and a cat. So a lizard and a cat. Sounds like the start of a really bad joke, doesn't it? Like lizard and cat walked into a bar. I have no idea what the punchline would be for that. Um, ah, there's the feline. F All right, where's the lizard? Lizard is, wow, blends in really, really well. I was coming up the steps from the beach when I heard a noise. I looked up and saw the boulder coming down and got out of the way just in time. No, no one saw it. I was quite alone. All right, so let's see here. B plus one. Okay, so F minus three. So one, two, three, C. Oh. My bad. Um... Can we reset that, please? So, C. O. L plus six. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. S minus five. One, two, three, four, five. Z plus one would be A. No. Oh wait, is that a W? Yes it is, okay, clever. Q minus five would be what? One, two, three, four, five. L, G plus five. Would also be a Cornwall. M plus two would be an O. N minus 13. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. S. And a cup of tea. So, Miss Buckley owns a Mauser pistol and it is missing. Anyone could have taken it from the house. But who would have known it was here in the safe? That's a good question. Maybe you should dust for prints? Challenges, yeah, wow. Okay. He's, uh, he's, he's kind of a bit of a slob. So she had the, so it could be literally anybody. Uncle McAllister, your last shipment was very well received and the stock is almost entirely depleted. Let us arrange to meet again for another exchange. London, this next Friday, same time, same place. Yours, George. There is something about this letter. I do not like it. I think I will have Miss Lemon pay a visit to this Dr. McAllister. Good idea. Even though you're totally retired and you don't do investigations anymore, that's probably a good idea. So let's see. Brass letters, ladies hat, and two tracks. Right, okay, so it's like, it has to be like a footprint or something like that. This is the fan, this is the finest brand of yacht. How is it that an ex-naval officer like Challenger can afford such a boat? Well, I would say he was selling something. Dog tracks? 
Yeah, they were both dog prints. Curious. A sextant, a violin, a wine bag, an amber bottle. All right, there should be a wine bag around here somewhere. I would think that that would kind of stand out, at least for me. It's, it is something that is kind of, it, it has a certain, uh, a certain panache to it. So a lady's hat. Aha! Two binoculars and their wine bag. Specifically a wine bag. There's plenty of wine bottles around, that's for sure. There are like tons of wine bottles around. There's, this guy is definitely an alcoholic. He drinks a lot, he has a very nice yacht. That is all very suspect. Binoculars. All right, so now the wine bag. White bag. Oh, oh, well, that would explain why I couldn't see it. It wasn't a wine bag, it's a white bag. I can read. No, I had no idea Nick had a Mauser pistol. It probably belonged to her father or grandfather. Me? What do you mean? I don't own one. I have a shooting rifle, but that's hardly a crime. So, all right. So, the Colonel didn't do it. Colonel Challenger didn't do it. All right. But that is all the time we have for today. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. And don't forget to prod the subscribe button down below so that you can stay tuned. For more from Olav Productions. Cheerio! If you wanna see some crazy and also lazy, then you should meet me and my friends. Could even, even test it. No money, oh, so Hubert set up a device to ooh, to ooh, give Matt back her tomorrow. stuff. Troubles are you talking about? Ooh, 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 yeah, I'm with Ross several times tonight. But all the exhibits remain intact.